Welcome back, everybody, to Crusader Kings 2. I was uploading today's video, and then it hit me. An epiphany, a, an idea from the gods themselves. I've got the flu, by the way, so that doesn't really help out things. But this is maybe the best idea I've ever had in CK2. This series, we are going to start from nothing. And you're probably thinking, Mr. Streamer, well, that's no different to every other series. You always start as the underdog and then end up being a ridiculously powerful guy by exploiting mob mechanics. You're right. But this time, we're going to start with literally nothing. Absolutely zero. No titles, no traits, no land, no anything. How are we going to do that, you ask? That's, that's ridiculous. You're a madman. No, nothing is ever possible like that in Crusader Kings 2 ever before, even. You're right. There is an incredible mod that appeared on, uh, on the CK2 Watch that a lot of people were asking me to check out called Rise to Power. This mod allows you to play as an unlanded nobody. You can play as a bastard if you want. Real lowborn, absolutely nobody. You can play as just a random peasant. You can play as an unlanded noble. There is many different options, but we are going to start at the bottom of the barrel. Completely nothing. And what I'm even going to do, let's go into game sex here. Let's crank it up to very hard. Fuck it. You know what? I want a proper challenge run this time around. And my god, that's what we're going to do. I already started it. I've, I've rec recorded this episode. Like I said, I've recorded this episode once. It's uploading it. And then it hit me. Let's start with actually nothing, rather than just playing online characters. Like, literally nothing at all. We are going to carry on with the previous playthrough idea, though. I know a lot of people are still interested in doing the sort of Israel run, because obviously that's a very difficult playthrough anyway. Trying to reform Israel. There's obviously a lot of achievements associated with that as well. Why don't we do that from complete scratch? I think that could be maybe one of the hardest challenges we've ever set up for ourselves in CK2. I have no idea how this is going to work. This is untrodden ground. I'm sure somebody's done this on YouTube before, but I've never done this. And I think this is going to be a really weird and interesting start. So our goal will still be the same as what it was in the, the Horse Lord series. See, this is a soft reboot of that one. We're not going to be playing Nomads because I'm going to say it. Nomads are garbage. Uh, they're, they're just completely boring to play. You burn things down. You get a lot of gold. You build up your population. That's it. Not interested. We are going to start as a complete fucking zero nothing guy. So let's pick a random count to start off with. So I'll, I'll talk about them a little bit more as we get into it. Some of the mechanics will become a bit more obvious as we do dive into things here. So first things first, we need to actually pick our starting province. This is not necessarily going to be the line we hold. It's, well, it's not going to be the line we hold. It's not necessarily going to be our starting character either. I am, of course, going to customize our character with the finest, the finest CK2 name I can come up with. Which, I mean, I might have already spoiled there from the save game. But I am going to use that old name. Uh, <clears throat> also, I <laughs> have the flu. Great. Okay, so let's pick a random count. I want to play in the HRE because it, it also occurred to me that we've actually never played in the HRE ever. I think we always start a little bit too early when the, when the Brothers Carling is still kicking around. Or we try and play around it and obviously end up destroying it. So this time... We, we're going to work our way up through it. And if we, hey, you know what? If we don't end up forming Israel, that's fine. I think the important thing is let's go from nothing to emperor. That's the real goal of the campaign here. So we need an unlanded or, or a landed count here just to join his court, basically, to replace and, and just to sort of kick around his provinces here. Ethnicity. This is the important thing. Um, you know what? I all, already really like that guy. I feel like, you know, he's seen some things. You know, the bond on top, maybe, maybe stress, maybe. It's Extreme Testosterone, which is going to be our character. That's what we're going to call him. We are going to be called Extreme, and last name, Testosterone. That that hit me. I mean, that's also like an opinion. Is that how you spell it? Testo te it's not. No, that says Testosterone. Fine, I'm in. Not the Swiss chocolate, almost the hormone. Okay, so we're going to go for, like I said, a complete nobody. No stats, no education. That's going to be something I'm going to have to manually do when we get into game here. I want to go completely bottom of the barrel shit here. Let's do it. Now, as for the rules, I've already made them fairly difficult, as you can see there. Uh, major epidemics are set to deadly, Aztec invasion, random Mongols, random, blah, 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 blah. Ace curve independently is significant. We've also got, I believe, uh, double revolt strength. Yeah, so as you look at the second from the bottom there, provincial revolt strength is set to powerful. There's a reason I want to do that as well. So if characters are unlanded, if they are deposed from power, they become one of these unlanded courtiers. They can sort of struggle their way back up. You know, they can get employment. They can try and retake their titles. I thought that'd be kind of fun to see what the AI gets up to with that system. So let's dive in. Your adventure begins. And so you begin your adventure as a noborn <laughs> noble. Rise through the ranks and become a true Crusader King. Do we want to begin as a bastard? The hardcore start. So the way this works is that we have the opportunities related to our rank in society. A random lowborn man can't offer to buy a barony. A random bastard especially can't buy a barony. You know, they are the lowest of the low here. But a noble, if you want to start as a noble, once you've accrued enough gold, hey, you could offer to buy that county. You could offer to buy that, you can buy that uh, county if, if the guy likes you enough, obviously, that is, or a barony. Or you can even start as a count. We are going to begin as the lowest of the low, the scum of society. 
There we are. Extreme. Oh, God, we lost our house name because, of course, we're not highborn. We are house nothing. Warf, get ready on your way. Stop for a second. Oh, no, Chastanoni. We're good. Extreme of the Dune. No stats, no traits besides bastard. Wow. No. Oh, shit. This is going to be so difficult. My God, what have I done? All right, here we go. So, what, so whereabouts are we in? Okay, so we're in the capital then. That's interesting. And here we go. Nothing to our name. We have no gold. We have no skills. We can go on a pilgrimage. We can go on a pilgrimage. Why? Uh, people, oh, shit. Are we still Christian? I didn't mean to start as Jewish so that we, we were like the proper underdog here. Um, so that we could obviously eventually reform Jerusalem. There we go. That's going to fuck us up even more. Okay. I, I wonder if they can like expel us from the realm and things like that. Because of course we will just be in a landed Jewish court here. That would be interesting too. So another cool mechanic, uh, speaking of being expelled from the realm, we can actually move between realms if we save up the money for the journey. Say for example, you know, life in the Holy Roman Empire is not really going the way we want to. We can move over to, uh, to France instead. We need, what is it, 50 gold? Uh, yeah, there you go. So 50 gold and we must be either that or an independent ruler. So I guess if you're a mercenary battle or something like that, perhaps. Uh, the Basilius, we can move over to the Byzantine Empire if we felt like that. Generally, anywhere. I wonder if it has to be within Diplo range or whether you can do it to realms that are... Yeah, it seems like we could just move anywhere for the flat cost of 50 gold. Try and make them potentially dangerous journey. This is going to be interesting. I have no idea what the hell Extreme is going to get up to here. So we can pick a focus. Now, I, uh, as I said, I've, I've already recorded an episode with this mod, but not quite with this start point, I will admit. This didn't really seem to have much of an influence besides just giving us the option. So say, for example, Intrigue gives us the the Intrigue bonuses, I should say. the Yeah, it is the Intrigue's focus, right? Gives us the Intrigue points. Also gives us Spy and Free from Captivity. But obviously, we're not going to get any events related to rulership. So I think business focus, and especially rulership, is going to be complete garbage, huh? Family focus, if we need that fertility. Which, to be honest, right now, we are teetering on the edge of a game over. All it would take with this guy's truck is in prison, a burner for an apostate or whatever, and that's it. We're done. So... I think we probably need to get married. Uh, family folks to start off with, probably not bad. Obviously, we're probably going to be blitzing through things on Speed 5. There's very little to do, but we will have to get ourselves a job. You know, earn our way through society, pick up some skills here. Hopefully, learn to read. That's one of the biggest things that sets the, the random peasants away from the nobility is that ability. So, hey, we, we go, we're gonna, we've got a lot on our plate here to deal with. Oh, my God, we can fight in the arena. Probably get our ass handed to us. Societies, hang on. That could be a good idea. The only ones that will take us is the assassins. In our desperation, we turn to the assassins to try and train us in the ways of, uh, well, anything at this point. So we can't join the Hermetic Society, which they've also adjusted. One of the mods has changed that. Uh, so we've got Neophyte, Initiate, Adept, Magus, and... Oh, they well, look at that. They've all got build cost, build time differences as well. But to make up for it, the levy size is lower. Hey, that's a really cool change. So Hermetic Society for playing tall, which of course we are going to be doing here. Seems like a pretty solid option there. Uh, got Sons of Zion, which is a warrior band based on... The, uh, based on, obviously, Judaism there. So we've got, uh, it does come with some health negatives, which is a little bit of a shame, but obviously you get indomitable through it. So, chance I will just live longer doing that. I'm kind of tempted by the assassins. I don't think we'll quite be falling that low yet. Now, one thing I'm going to do with this campaign, like we've done previously with the Joris Bonson campaign, things like that, I do want to be role-playing the characters quite a lot. I want their stats and their traits to determine the paths that we take them down, to determine the decisions that we undergo for these characters. So then, the question is, what will young Extreme get up to first? I really have no idea how we're supposed to guide this guy. I really don't want to fight in the arena to start off with, unless we get an air, you know, unless we can sort of guarantee that we're not going to get game over immediately. Maybe then we'll risk things. We'll try and make some friends, maybe try and... Uh, we can't sway him, can we? No, because we're not a landed character. We can't even try and worm our way into the nobility like that. Maybe we could go with, like, Spy. We try and blackmail characters. Obviously, CK3 has that really dynamic blackmail system. Fortunately, we don't have access to anything quite that level yet, but that would be super useful right now. Uh, I have no clue. I have absolutely no idea. Carousing might be quite good. Maybe we can invite other courtiers. I mean, can we even interact with, say, like, random fellas like Reinhardt here? Um, oh, marriage. That's probably a good start. But the question is, who the hell can we marry as an unlanded dude? Uh, just random women kicking around? Okay, fair enough. Uh, she's 18. Might not be a bad idea. Grey Eminence, patient, zealous. She is 26. She's got Midas touch, though. So for the bonus fertility, that might not be a bad idea. She's also good with coin. She's a lot more skilled than this other character down here. Fuck it. All right, let's do Well, I mean, hopefully. Let's marry her just for the fertility bonuses. We lose 100 prestige from marrying a courtier, even though we are an unlanded guy. She's technically a higher rank than us, because she is, of course, a courtier in the Serene Doge's court there. We're just a random dude kicking around for Dune. Let's do it. This is going to be a complete mess, isn't it? Holy shit. Right, let's, let's crank the speed up. We had a low rank happen to us. So a lot of the way that your character's progression is tracked is through modifiers. So right now, as you can see, we are low-born and we are low-ranked. We lose prestige. But as we sort of 
make friends with people as we build up contacts and friendships and and sort of uh, skills we'll get more modifiers that reflect that so we might oh shit we've also picked up diplomacy and learning uh jewish plus one and what's that one family focus right of course oh nice and because we are playing with quite a comprehensive mod pack that was actually what i was just about to talk about links to all of these mods and full credit to all of these mods as well is available in the description i put together a steam workshop file for this what, what i'm currently playing with so feel free to go and subscribe to that and check that out so because of flowing step mod we do gain the trait jew which i think gives us a little bit of uh yeah, essentially like a religious education, if you want to look at it like that. So we get some stewardship, some learning. But of course, because we are lowborn, we have no formal education. Just the skills that we've been taught by, uh, by I guess, our our sort of society. There we go. Tax modifier plus 25% stewardship learning. Obviously, tax modifier is irrelevant right now. And other Jews have a certainly higher opinion of us. Okay. Uh, gain 10 gold, or do you want to gain the 13 prestige? How do we even start? Fucking hell. Um... I think. So, I've, I've never played as a bastard before in this mod. I've only played as Lowborn, which is a step above this. But even Lowborn has some other options, like the ability to buy a house. Uh, this is completely new to me. I guess we should just start accruing prestige. Prestige is going to make us seen more in amongst the sort of noble circles. That might allow us to become legitimized. Obviously, we might have to protest to our liege. You know, hey, can we be legitimized or at least remove the stain of varsity so that we can get on with our life? That might be something we have to do here. Um... Yeah, there's an option on these guys. Wait, can we steal artifacts in online the character? Like, do a heist. Like, a proper heist this time. Uh, well, these must be true. So, yeah, we actually could. Uh, but he's got his artifact equipped, which is why we can't steal from him. But it looks as if we can steal from other characters. Wait, why can't we steal with that one, then? Uh, sorry, steal artifact. Let's try and work this out quickly. Uh, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Artifact requirement is not equipped. Oh, right. So, he, he actually can't do that right now. Yeah, no, we should be able to steal that. I don't know. Like, it doesn't matter. It's not important for the time being. Huh? We're getting a bit of ahead of ourselves. Already planning a heist for the Holy Roman Emperor. Maybe not the safest way to keep yourself going here. Ricardia and... Oh, shit. Did I put a space at the start of his name? And... Brace yourself. Extreme. You have to you have to take the space at the start so that he doesn't bowl you away with his good looks. We can collect a royal aid duty to pay for the ceremonies. Uh, like I said, I think I'll take the prestige, decline the gold, and, and you know, see ourselves as a bit more of, of than just a greedy peasant. We are a little bit more noble than that could set ourselves our, our wife as our designated region you are now king of nothing she declined it that's hilarious uh hi almana nothing wow this is this is kind of a bad situation huh? success and nomination so magnetic head of the family oh very cool so we can choose someone to inherit our i guess the, the minor amounts of gold and prestige we might accrue here so very similar to playing i guess a patrician except we don't even have a house this time around i guess we'll uh go ahead and disable that that's not gonna be relevant same with that one that's not gonna be relevant council positions not relevant so, fight in the arena is our only option. I'm going to mark everything I think is special interest. I'll untick fight in the arena. That right now does not seem very sensible. Oh, shit. Oh, this is a great start. We're walking around the streets of that place that I'm not going to try and pronounce because I'll butcher it. You talk to a man by the name of Gottfried. After exchanging a few words, he offers you a job as a postulant. Uh, okay, sure. Accept the offer. So, 9% chance of getting 15 gold. Uh, there's a chance of us getting gold, I guess, if we do a good job there. Decline it, gain some piety. Don't know why. Uh, maybe it's seen as being greedy. Not entirely sure. But hey, you know what? I'll take whatever you're offering at this stage, my man. So that will give us... There you go. You can see that we've got the uh, the job of posture on there. So minor, minus fertility, because I guess we're busy. We've got some learning from that one. Oh. Oh, we're trying to learn how to read. That will set us apart, like I said, from the peasantry. Learning to read is one of the biggest ways to become... Uh, obviously, get a, get a higher state of employment. That would obviously help out quite a lot. But more importantly, it will allow us to be more formally recognized as a nobleman. Lately, I've been begun intrigued by the books and ledgers of the priests and the shopkeepers. Uh, I need some help, but I've become determined to learn. That seems like a good first step. Didn't learn a thing, but that's a fine start. Oh, shit. I've been spending more time with my wife, Ricardia, lately. And though, of course, we did not marry for love. I can tell it's growing between us. That's a nice story. Good start for my boy, Extreme. He's decided to go hunting tomorrow. Um, we can volunteer to butcher the meat for our liege. Uh, or, or the, the, obviously the guy who owns the province that we live in. Uh, a little poaching won't hurt him. Oh shit, we could go out poaching? That seems like a good idea. That's always going to give us some gold. That one has a chance to not give us any gold. Or we could stay at home. Uh, 4% chance we're caught and imprisoned. 1% chance we're killed, so I guess we'll be gored by a boar or something like that. Maybe they need some help to butcher the meat. If it gained us opinion with this guy, you know, maybe got us on his radar or something like that, I could be more tempted to go for that. You know what? Let's do some poaching. Quiet, quiet poaching. We actually succeeded. Not much gold, but hey, every, every little anything at this stage is good. How much money are we making right now? 0 0.2 just from our job. Wow, that's, uh... 
It's going to be a long climb up to the, 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 the mighty rank of Baron, I guess. Oh, shit. Okay. I overheard a group of soldiers excitedly discussion, discussing an invasion being organized by Maria of the Reconquista. Some are planning to join the invading force and some are planning to join the defenders. All are convinced they'll impress their new leaders in battle and perhaps be handsomely rewarded. We are not a soldier. Far from it. We have no personal combat. We have no military training at all. Zero martial. We could just try and join them. You know, get employment as a soldier. Maybe just someone shining the shields or carrying some shit around, picking off the bodies on the field or something like that. I'm not going to go for that. There's already a chance that we'll just become wounded, I guess, joining in uh, the, the training sessions or something like that. I think we'll say that that's not for us because I don't think we've quite... We've only been here a year. Let's see what else the Holy Roman Empire has to offer before we decide to go off on a reconquista and get ourselves fucking killed. Taking a stroll, a man by the name of Ingolf approaches you and offers you a temporary job with the mercenary band Danish Band. Okay, uh, so Captain Ingolf of uh, the Danish Band wants to offer us employment. Granted, we're terrible, but it might actually be a way to get some skills. It's temporary as well. So if we get wounded, we might be able to come home and obviously rest up. Where do I sign? Um, it pays quite well compared to all the other jobs. It's guaranteed gold there. 18% chance of gaining 15 gold is quite nice. Um, or we say not for me and obviously... Oh, we get nothing from that. The chance of wounded shouldn't matter too much. But I say that maybe there's no way to get treated. We don't have a court physician, got to bear in mind. So if we become infected or something like that, we are... We're fucked. We're dead. Go on then. We did it. Nice. We have Battle Brother happening to us. So now we are going to go off on a journey. We are now on a pilgrimage to join our mercenary band brothers in combat. God, I hope we gain some skills or something out of this. The monthly wealth, though, look, it pays really, really well. Plus one wealth, but of course we're away from court, so we lose our fertility and we lose our health as well because we're in a dangerous situation there. Cool. We're, we're back. Oh, was that it? Oh, that was, that was quick. Quick employment. Battle Brother no longer affecting us. Right, so we didn't pay... We got a good amount of gold for that, but it wasn't very long term. I think we should probably also always do that if we get the opportunity. Hey, I'm up for it. Let's do it. It's a couple of months away in a mercenary band. We come home. Gold is good. A lot of these guys wanted to hire us, despite the fact that we've got no skills whatsoever. Again, I, we're probably just carrying the shit around or something like that. Uh, Godfrey III of Lord of the Rain has decided to go hunting tomorrow. Let's do a bit of poaching in the background. Shh, don't tell him. We, need, we just need as much money as possible here. 63 gold. It's already a fantastic start. Learning how to read. Lately, I've been becoming intrigued. Once again, we have not learned anything from trying to read. I guess we just have to get lucky with that event. I don't think there's anything we can particularly do in this scenario. Who wants to help a lowborn bastard who's, you know, just carrying around soldiers' equipment to learn to read right now? Maybe with some money, we might be able to... Maybe we might be able to bribe someone? Oh, shit, we could also pray. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. We've, we've, we've ended. We've come home. We have the opportunity now to found our own mercenary company. Right, so I guess we've picked up some... Uh, Oh, look at that. We also got Adventurer. Very cool. It's kind of a background of Adventurer, which means they might somewhat be more ambitious than others. So you get some levy size. You get a bonus in Marshall. Look, we've had a little bit of education. It's not formal. It's nowhere near the amount a noble would ever get. But we've, we've picked up a few things. Carrying around the other soldier's shit. You know, shining their shoes and whatnot. Very nice. We've got ourselves a fancy helmet. So we can now, if we feel like it, found our own mercenary band. I feel like our guy isn't suited to that. But if we have a son... We might be able to find someone who can educate him in martial, uh, uh, a martial education, perhaps. I think it'd be very, like, obviously a massive gamble here. I, I guess the more kids, the better. I'm sorry, I'm trying to think of, like, a good strategy for, like, upwards tick of uh, momentum. I guess we could uh, try and have as many kids as possible just in the gamble that maybe one comes out genius or one comes out strong. One comes out with a good education. That'd be the important thing here. Do we want to gamble away all of our cash? You know I've got to do it. You know, I've got to do it. Maybe it's just Blackjack or something like that. Then we're, then we're fine. Uh, or we can pray. What is that? Send a prayer to Hakadosh Barachu in order to possibly receive a random boon. Uh, it's 50 piety. We can afford it. Hey, why not? Fuck it. Give me that. Is that instant or does that take a while? Uh, Lorraine Lowball, no favor. Ah, uh, nothing. That's a real shame. Let's gamble. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling lucky despite the fact that we just got extremely lucky with that. Let's do it, boys. Sitting across the table, I see Loot Butt getting ready for a friendly wager. Loot Butt. I'm marking you a special interest, my man, because if we lose, I'm going to beat you to death. I have a few coins to spare. Oh, God, it's equal chance. Oh, shit. Okay. It's the Sand Casino. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. We can try and gamble everything. A few coins to spare. Um, and it, and it really is just 50-50. 20% chance of no effect, but... Oh, man, there's so much gold we could potentially get out of this. This is all I have. We could go for the slightly less risky one. At least take some coins home with us. Fuck it. I've got to do it. I, I have to do it. Oh, God, I'm bankrupt. All the money I spent as a, as a battle brother. Put my life on the line for what? For nothing. For loot, but to rake it, rake it all in. 
You are, you are fucked, my friend. Plot to kill him. Take him out. I'm not, I'm not, we're not settling for this shit. Obviously, we're not going to be able to wipe him out here. We could fight in the arena to try and pay off our gambling debts, but you know what? Maybe we've learned a lesson today. Maybe gambling just isn't for us. Is this still special interest? Oh, shit, we can't do it again? Maybe we have to build up some more cash first, okay? Ah, war has broken out. Oh, shit, in our capital. And he's requesting all levies reports to the nearest armory in order to be outfitted in the conflict. Do we want to fight in the levies of our liege? Of course. We're an adventurer. We have a background in martial. We are well trained for a peasant. A whole one marshal. We will fight for you, my liege. <gasps> Gambling money. Oh, shit, we're wounded. Are we now our battle brother? So we are being employed by our liege to fight in his armies. Maybe this will just go on for the period of the war. That could be a lot of gold we're bringing in then, huh? Still not, still not learning to read. Man, this could be a lot of cash. Oh, we're home? Was that it? Oh, we're a soldier. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong thing there. So monthly wealth, 0 0.5. Not as prestigious as the mercenary band, but I guess the last risk is. Well, yeah, 0 0.5. Oh, God. No. A lord's life is not always easy. Despite all of your hard work, there's some people that are dissatisfied or feel they would make a better ruler than you. It's fucking loot, but he's put a bounty on our head. Nothing a little duck it won't soothe. You will regret this or skip the jewel engine. We've got minus five person to come up. We're injured. We're going to have to try and bribe this guy. Okay, the dog has accepted your noble president and left without making any more trouble. <sighs> we were able to bribe him. God knows what we did. We didn't pay him. Oh, Jesus. What did you do, Extreme? We gave him a little bit of a handy shandy, and apparently that was enough to send him on his way. Fine, I'll take it. That's okay. We've, we've dropped ourselves to the lowest level possible here. <laughs> the fuck are we doing? This campaign has already gone off the rails. We've got people trying to kill us. We've lost all of our money in gambling. Poor extreme. This is not the life I had for you, my friend. Oh, God. And now our wife has decided to go and fuck someone else. My man, they've, the world has just got it in for you. I'm so sorry. Show that foul blasphemy of what I do with threat. What are we going to do to her? Imprison her? Where are we imprisoning? Are we, like, burying her under the floorboards? Show that foul blasphemy of what I do with traitors. We can't imprison her. We can. We've locked her in the house. She's also got a hedgehog. What? She's got a hedgehog. She's got a... A, a hunting pet? What the hell? Throwing the oubliette. Under the floorboards with you, wife. I will show you what we do to traitors around here. Get, get out. Get out of my house. I should probably stop going on campaigns until we've uh, actually had a kid, huh? Uh, where do I sign up? Fuck it. We'll do a little bit of mercenary work while we're also fighting as a soldier. Oh, no. She died under the floorboards. We buried our wife alive. Holy shit. Well, you know what? That's what she gets. Poor Extreme has had a difficult life so far, huh? Fighting, lost all his money in gambling, had to give a man a blowy so he wouldn't kill him in combat, buried his wife under the floorboards, got wounded in the process. God damn, this is this has not been a great start. I feel like we do need to retire from the soldiering a little bit then until we've actually had a kid. Because like I said, look at these. Battle Brother gives minus 100%. Uh, soldier gives minus 100%. The, the postulant gives a minus 5 as well because we do have that job. This is not a great start. This is not the most fantastic start. Let's, as, when this war's chilled out, which I, I mean, I feel like he's going to lose that. What happened to us though? As a soldier in the army, what the hell is going to happen to us? Uh, do we want to join the banner of King Malcolm of Scotland? Join the banner under Harold of Norway? Uh, oh, right, 1066, of course. No, not for me. We're not interested. Let, 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 let them fight amongst themselves. What the hell is this? The earth shook. The people screamed and buildings cracked. A cloud of foul-smelling air swept over the village, making torches and fires burn bright green. Took a couple of days repairing the crap buildings and salvaging items for the few older houses that had collapsed. Luckily, everyone escaped unharmed. I walked through the city examining the buildings and knowing what remained to be repaired. Without bothering with formalities, you tell me about a giant crack in the ground. How is this my problem? There's a crack in the earth that's opened up. Uh, fine. Why bother me? A flaming gap. Oh, we just get a flaming gap. What, in our house? We don't have a house. We're just in some sort of like strange lodgings. I guess we're in like soldiers lodgings or something like that. Of course. Show me the way, fellow peasant. The gate of hell. Oh, good. It's just what we wanted. It's an unlanded peasant. The foul smell that swept over the city the day the earth shook slowly crept up on us and, until I retched involuntarily. The wound that had burst open from the farmer's field, this is not what he needs. Cocked, wife's dead, had to give a blow to that man. Now Satan himself is clawing out of the earth. Extreme just can't catch a break here. Um, it's just a hole in the ground. We gain a wailing gap giving us general opinion because we refuse to do anything about this curse that we've apparently bought on the land. We must take a closer look. The gate and its tortured souls. Yeah, let's take a look. Fuck it. Wailing screams and cries for help seem to emit from the burning gap. Oh, God, it's our wife. She's come back to haunt us. The ground must have opened up when we buried her in the floor. As I walked close to the hellhole, I dared to peek down. 
Apart from the occasional fiery stone and eyebrow looking flame, I could see nothing. The Wellington scream seemed to increase until I felt as if my head would explode. It's just a hole, right? General Penny minus five. We need this closed now. There's got to be a way to close the gap. We can do it. I gave the wisest men and women of my court three days to... Us. It's us, by the way. We try Basically, we buried our wife underground. A, a portal to hell opened up to punish us, and now we've got to close it before, you know, the, the homeowners association comes and uh, kicks us out. Fine. We've got three days. Feed it cattle or fill it with stones. Fine. Feed it with cattle. I mean, a, a burying a cow is how we started this. Maybe it'll finish it as well. The cows balked in front of the gap and refused to take any steps further. I hope this works. We're going to push cows into the hole. What the fuck are we doing? This is the stupidest campaign I've ever played in CK2 ever. Fine, let's do it. 50 gold? No. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not spending money on this shit. Are you kidding me? Who cares if our general opinions are low? We murdered our wife. Are, what, are we back home then? Laurent Lobon, Gates of Hell, no favor. Yeah, we're, we're home. We're, the war's over. We're good. Um, oh, or we could sign up for another. No, no signing up until we've had a son. Apparently we've got the Gates of Hell opening up. I feel like now's the time we need to make sure we're not going to get an immediate game over here. Well... Turns out we could find no solution, apparently. So now we've just got to deal with the gates of hell under our house for the next year. It's not really much of a problem, is it? Monthly piety is lower. General opinion, minus five. That doesn't matter too much, unless something bad could happen. Let's not worry about it. We're taking a stroll. A man by the name of Jocelyn approaches you and offers you a temporary job within the Mercer Van Swish Company. No. My friend, we need to get married. Oh, we still have that family, folks. Maybe we should go for, like, seduction instead. That would have been a better idea, I think, just to get a son. Oh, there's plenty of, uh, plenty of people to marry. Fortunately, they are all very young. Uh, oh, God, okay. Try and marry... I mean, she's a prodigy. Wow, we would not get another opportunity like this, but she's five. So, by the time she comes of age, we're going to be, like, 36. Fuck. Uh, I think we'll marry her. She's got a good few more years in her. Hey, if if it turns out she can't have any kids, if we get to 45, she can't have any kids, get rid of her. We'll marry the kid that's prodigy instead. Let's do it. Oh, we actually gained prestige for that because she was cyborg. Oh, she is. Look, she's got a house. Ah, very nice. Her grandfather was the emperor of Cordoba? Holy shit. Okay, fair enough. Thank you. I'll take it. I like that our fucking racist wife cares more about us being an infidel than she cares about the literal gates of hell underneath our character's house. What are you talking about, you ra weird racist woman? Infidel. I can't believe that. That it's like four times as bad to be an infidel. What a fucking lunatic. Hey, we got 92 gold though. Uh... What can I do? Find the arena, pay off our bounty so we stop having to give, you know, random favors to these guys that turn up at our court. There's a... a w why have we even got a bounty? Is there even any bounty or is this something they're just making up? Uh, or, alternatively, I have a few coins to spare. Nothing. Oh, we got lucky. We were broke even that time. Well, well, hang on. There's a pattern, though. If we lost the first gamble and then we became neutral on the second gamble, the third gamble, we've got to win. We've got to win. There's definitely no fallacy at all associated with that. My man would know no better. Okay, what are we going to do then? I guess we'll stick with our muster bands for a while. Uh, no, 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 no. We need the sun. We need the sun. No, nothing else until this wife is until this wife is suitably impregnated. That's it. We're staying at home. <gasps> Fucking loot butt. You guys remember loot butt who stole the gold from us? He's now a landed. It's it's a he's a prince bishop. Oh, he's just a. I guess he's just a uh, bishop. Oh my god. I can't believe it. I'm so annoyed at that. The Thieves Guild strikes him. Good. Fucking good. I, are we still plotting to kill this guy? We should probably stop now. Oh, people actually do want him dead. Because he's a landing character. I can't believe that. This guy's had a real success story. Meanwhile, Extreme's still injured. No kids, more importantly. Oh my god. Speaking of the devil, it shall appear. Well, I mean, not again. We've already dealt with the gates of hell. Excellent. My wife is Pergonat, a son for Extreme. It's been like the opposite of Extreme. We just fought in a bunch of battles. Now we can fuck off. Let's go to war. Earn some money for this kid's education. We got like 100 gold. Is there nothing I can do with this? Uh, my liege, t teach me. Teach me to read. Someone, please teach me to... Wife, you're highborn. Well, to some extent. Uh, can you read? I guess we just gotta wait. I guess we just gotta wait for the opportunity to present itself. More importantly, our son, I guess, won't be born a bastard. So when we play as that kid, he'll have more opportunities than us because we are not the lowest of the low. Maybe that's just how this character will work. Maybe we just have no opportunities and we've just gotta focus everything on the next generation. We're cured. Well, we're not cured, but we're just not bleeding profusely everywhere. Oh, God. Oh, God. A bit of points that you read. Yeah, thank you. Oh, no. I think we found a bit of an issue here. Oh, shit. We are being appointed her regent because she... Oh, god damn. Okay. 
bear with me here. I'm gonna have to click through about three days worth of Pergonant. So this is a slight issue with the game. You know, we we can't have a region because we have we don't have any we don't have a court. You know, we're an Atlantic guy. But our wife can't be regent because she's pregnant. A <gasps> daughter, Frida. She's not a bastard. She is our heir, though. That's a start. Okay, fine. Frida, welcome. Terrible name. We are gonna call you. God damn, I gotta think of a name now. This is too much pressure. In honor of the lost episode, I will name you Wunderbar. Wunderbar. Oh, that's it, I guess. She's just, she's just called Wunderbar because she's not highball or anything like that. Just house. Wunderbar, house, nothing. Brilliant. Okay, so education then. This is where things are really going to start ramping up. So she's not a bastard. That's already great. And we can try and educate her. I wonder if we have to like pay people to come and uh, tutor her. That's a good point. Can we invite people to come and live with us? We don't have a house, but my god, we can try. Join court, yes? No one. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, join court... Guess we go ruler, no. Diplo range, yes. See if we can maybe bribe someone to come and live with us. Come and educate our kid to some extent. Um, what would be a good way to educate her in? I guess then either etiquette, you know, try and work her way up through the courts, you know, present her as a debutante, something like that. Or we go for thrift, try and have her earn some money to buy her own way through life. She's already got two learning there from obviously her, her Jewish education from the sort of uh, close-knit society we live in. I guess that couldn't hurt. Let's do it. Then we also need a, a potential good steward to come and join us. I mean, what about you? Can we potentially invite you to court? Can we buy favors because we're unlanded? I don't think we can, can we? Uh, so let's go married no as well. Otherwise, that makes it a lot harder to try and invite people to our court. What about you? Uh, so we can't buy favors. So the only way we can actually get people to our court is if they just agree to join us. And of course, they're always going to be in a court of a higher tier character because we are nobody. Shit. Can we employ people? We can't even employ people. Wow, this is, uh, this is a bit fucked, huh? We are, we are seriously still on the back burner. We just have to hope that our daughter comes out pretty decent. I will educate you. You know what? You don't need anyone. You've got Extreme. Wait, is our wife educated? She's good at... She's misguided warrior. Okay, you know what? Let Extreme take over. He hasn't got an education, so how the hell is that going to work? <gasps> a trait! We're actually going to get a personality trait for the first time in the entire series. After giving my advice on a delicate matter, the courtier asked me to accept a small gift of gold as thanks for my help. Do we take charitable? Or do we try and take greedy? Well, Charitable will actually give us... I mean, what's our guy been like so far? Like I said, I want to roleplay this character somewhat because we haven't got really much else with him, huh? Um, I mean, he's been a fairly generous guy, I think. You know, joining all these mercenary bands. But he has been gambling a lot, and that is absolutely 100% Greedy Man. The only issue is right now, Greedy will give us nothing. Like, it, it, might, it will just give us negative diplomacy. Charitable, however, will give diplomacy. The courtier asked me to accept a small gift of God as thanks for my help. Um, we did give advice on a delicate matter, I guess. You know what? Let's take charitable. Let's take charitable. We're not going to join the Norwegian revolt, thank you. It's a start. It's actually a start. We've put some stats on the board here. Wonder if we can petition our liege to be the guardian of our daughter. So, oh man, we can't. Oh shit, that's a shame. Uh, sign guardian. So, yeah, look at that. We can't do it. We can move court, though. We could move to the court of the Kaiser instead, which you would assume would have a lot more opportunities and gold and, 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 and sort of wealth available for us there bit more bit more political sort of imperial lifestyle we could move to say the byzantine empire go for something like that move to france there's a lot of potential in in the uk as well because it's also divided there currently between norway and uh, scotland obviously going to war i guess is an english norwegian revolt uh yeah edwin the short changer of huis there interesting i mean there is opportunity there obviously in the form of mercenary bands and constant warfare and battle and things like that we could get employment in our in our regular field of employment you know we are an adventurer after all i'm kind of tempted to move to an imperial court go for say like uh, constantinople something like that it's not where the emperor is based right now but it's still got a lot of wealth going for it, a lot of opportunity let's move to the capital of the hre you know this is this is our home we lived here for, for many many years already let's move over so he'll become our new liege there is, oh, so the journey will be of varying value. So it could be a, a quite expensive journey, you know, if things go wrong. Or it could be fairly cheap. Let's do it. Not too bad. Wait, was that the maximum? 50? <clears throat> Hang on, let me do some maths here. I don't remember what we were on. It doesn't matter. More to the point, we can't spend our gold on anything right now. So we're just sort of accruing it for the next generation. Oh, shit, we're already here. You stopped talking to a woman by the name of Bertha. Oh, my God, we met the Holy Roman Emperor's wife. It's already, luck is on our side. Extreme, your time has come. Do not fuck this up. He has not got the diplomacy skills of, you know, a noble. He's got to watch his P's and Q's a little bit here. Bertha, the Emperor's wife. Okay, we've got to be careful. She's offering us a job. We're now 
the postulant for the emperor's wife. Very nice. Um, send her a gift. Maybe she'll invite... Oh, shit. Send her six gold. Increase her opinion of her by two. Okay, maybe not then. What Can we send a gift to the... What was that? Jesus Christ, I thought it was the Aztecs then. You can't do that. My poor heart. While drinking at a local tavern, a woman by the name of Bertha, it, she's back again. She tells her tale regarding a cave located in Barberg. Amazing treasures there for the taking. Yeah, right. We don't believe her. Or we say it's a fantastic opportunity. Could you be trying to kill us? This is some weird, like, noble kink she's got going on here. Fantastic opportunity. We're going on a journey to find the treasure that the Emperor's wife told us about. Fantastic. Let's do it. Father? Father? Calls Wonder Bar, pulling on my arm, pleading to play with the latest toy. Completely oblivious to the important work I'm in the middle of. We took her treasure hunting, did we? I'm sure that's safe. Uh, all right, Wonder Bar, what is it? We are charitable, but we are stressed, and we are on a great journey. Fuck off, child. Get out of here. We're, we're very busy. We're hunting treasure. Extreme as... Wait, of Ulm? Uh, he moved his capital, and we, we went with him? Oh, we actually did. I guess we're a courtier in his court specifically, or I guess we're uh, trying to seek employment there. All right. Oh, God. After years of searching, the riches said to be in the hiddens came. Me and Bertha finally found something that piqued our interest. But Pete's spelled wrong. I want she wants to lie. The treasure is here. Oh, my God. We get an artifact, potentially. We get 25 gold, 25 prestige, 25 piety, and lose trait on a journey. Can we not get Mjolnir? I mean, I would kind of prefer that. Okay, that's fine. What do we get? Fucking nothing. Nothing? She lied to us? I guess because she died. That was probably... Because we had to pay for a funeral cost or something like that. God, you know what? Let's just go back to Mercer, man. Treasure hunting's clearly not for us. She dead? She shit herself to death. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, God knows where our daughter is then. She's being looked after by some randomer. Uh, let's see if that let's see if that girl's available to marry again. Oh, we're away from court. God, I can't believe we've got two, two wives this quickly. Man, what a tragic life Extreme has lived. But he has hit the ripe old age of 30. We've already been playing that long already. My God, 15 years. We've got the future of the Ram in the form of Wunderbar. Willful. Ambitious, brave, or stubborn, all of which, hey, I'll take it. It's better than nothing, huh? Which, of course, Extreme started with. Good episode for Extreme. We've got ourselves a mighty three diplomacy, one marshal, one stewardship, zero intrigue, three learning, and despite all of the combat, minus three personal combat because he is stressed. Unreal. Thank you. Fuck this Christmas. Get out of here. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this weird idea. We're going to be carrying on with the Adventures of Extreme tomorrow. And we'll see what the, what the game has in store for us. When we It's when we get to like the Baron rank. That's when it's going to be a cool mixture of obviously regular CK2. But also the semi-unlanded stuff. I think that's going to be the most interesting level. And then of course after that, the, the world is our oyster. Then we are in regular CK2 round. But obviously in a slightly, very, well, incredibly difficult mod pack that we set ourselves up for here. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Let's give a shout out to the patrons. Thank you guys for bearing with me over the past week as well. Especially thank you for bearing with me as well. You know, I had yesterday off just because I needed... Um, Time to recover from my week of uh, unexpected and completely random traveling over Christmas. We still haven't had our own Christmas yet. Like, I've got a mantle of Christmas present sat downstairs that I just haven't had time to open or anything like that. It's been that busy. So I appreciate you guys being uh, being patient over the past week. I'd love to take some more time off to get over this flu as well. But hey, it's YouTube. we gotta, we got to stay on top of the game here. Big shout out to the patrons for making this series possible in the first place. Again, big thank you to these guys for their patience there. Alchemia, Anthony Gully, Sinekurito, Amosis, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Balak Strongbow, Ben Hoffman, Chesty, Croesus, Donald, Fukuna Vasquez, Gogolos, Harry McGowan, Iguana Squad, James Shea, Jonah Waters, Justin Wallace, Kaden Carter, Michael Mullen, Muskratful, Nostrus, Necrofilm, Paul, Pelvis Presley, Rodin, Scott, Skaz, Slippy Nips, Somnus, Shea, The One Ring, Tom Terry Team, Troy, Tyler Kendall, Tyler McClam, Vacuous Backus, Faragon, and William Green. Thank you guys for your support at the Insane Tier levels on Patreon. Thank you for your patience over the past week. Thank you guys for continuing to support the channel, despite the slightly less of an output. And uh, thanks for being here, even though I'm extremely ill. Thank you as well to, by the way, all the all the patrons that did back over the Christmas period too. So I've already, like I said, I've already recorded the episode and I already thought I've said this before, but I think I've said it this time around. Thank you to those of you who have backed over the past few days as well, That where I have been away. I was not expecting anybody to back the Patreon at all, given that there was one episode a day. I was kind of expecting the opposite, that people obviously leave because there's less content to, you know, a couple of days with actually no content whatsoever, so appreciate that a lot for those of you who have backed. I will get those lists updated. Like I said, it was completely unexpected, so I, I'm, I'm unprepared, but I do have the patrons who have been backing us for the past month of December, so a big thank you as well to... <laughs> I'm going to take a moment to compose myself so I don't choke. 
Uwu Daddy, Asro, Anna Person, Adrian Ellison, Andrew Walsh, Andrew Wilson, Anchor, Astro Boogie, Attila, Festival's Back, Better Valerian, Blood for the Blood God, Buen Gun, Chris, Corgi Circus, Dapper Go, Don, Don Cardi 2 with 7, Emerald Beam, Foosh, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerka, Gothamo, Grey, Haji Dumar, I am Segater, Irotha, I see the Great, Jackson P, Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, Jason Sushu, Jose, Jeebus Crust, Euron de Vries, Jessica Smith, Jump's Lucky Sister, Jolly Vondel, Joseph here, Justin Pop, Justin Rules, Justin Walters, Kevin Saunders, Lieutenant Dan, Lepus, and Lepus, Luan Thomas, Manuel Bosich, Mustolp, Monty, Mosey Sampson, Munda Difflin, My Name Isn't Dio, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Nick, Organized Confusion, Pan Samu, Panther Pearl, Peyton Denisar, Rush Nalagot Billionaire, Ryan Hooper, Sam Kier, Scaps, Shardul, Smurtworm, Socrates, Super Daddy Zero, 89, Sweet Sea, Tony Levan, Volta, Voodoo Mambo, Voy Prince Kibo, Will Wade, Wilson Atef, Wolfie, Yellow Fawn, Yorkers, Zach, and Zetlock 2. Big shout out to you guys, and a big shout out to all of those patrons who have backed over the past week as well. And make sure those lists are updated for tomorrow. Thank you all for your support, and hopefully see you guys all tomorrow, unless I actually do die.